It's been over 20 years since we've seen a van with the iconic Volkswagen logo, and even though the company made us wait a long time, we're here at a studio just outside of Los Angeles, California, because we're finally taking a look at the production-ready three-row version of the ID Buzz. I've been personally very excited for this vehicle, so let's go ahead and finally take a first look. So it's been a little over a year since we showed you the first look on the European spec two row model it was actually out in LA as well. So for the three row version, this is essentially just longer. But before we talk about the exterior styling differences, which they, there basically are none, I thought I'd show you guys what happens or what's underneath the front hood of this vehicle. As you can see, it's built on the MEB architecture, which means it doesn't have a frunk. I mean, the Buzz itself has very short front and rear overhangs because remember the styling is an homage to the original T2 micro bus. So uh, you have very front, short front overhangs. And then when we are opening up this area here, let's go ahead and talk about the powertrain specs because Volkswagen has that. And the reason why the company made us wait a about six months longer than they originally promised last year is because they were able to fit the Europe or the American spec version of the Buzz with the new motor from the ID7, which means we have a single electric motor at the back axle delivering 282 horsepower and 406 pound-feet of torque. At launch as well, you can also get an all-wheel drive version of the Buzz making about 330 horsepower. Volkswagen says that they don't have the torque figure for the all-wheel drive, all drive model, but all Buzzes have the larger 91 kilowatt hour battery pack. The company is expecting around 85 to 86 to be the usable, usable amount. So it's a larger battery versus the 77 kilowatt hour that we get in the two row European spec model. Volkswagen wasn't ready to talk about the actual EPA range yet, but I'm gonna estimate it'll be around 250 miles, which is good, but not as good as the 300 miles that most people are expecting from today's long range electric vehicles. Now, when it comes to the performance figures, Volkswagen didn't have that ready just yet, but I'm going to estimate the all-wheel drive model should do 0-60 to 60 in just under 6 seconds based on other vehicles in the MEV architecture, which is actually pretty fast for what it is. Remember, the original bus had only 40 horsepower, and it had a top speed of around 60 miles an hour. This new version should have a top speed of around 99 miles an hour, so an improvement over the European spec car. Uh, but with, regardless, it's still a pretty quick vehicle for what it is. Towing capacity is around uh, 2,000 pounds for the rear drive model, going up to 3,500 pounds if you guys go for the all-wheel drive version. That's my estimate. But let's go ahead and close up the uh, hood, and uh, let's go ahead and talk about the exterior styling elements of this all-new bus. Uh, now, as you can see, it looks pretty similar to the two-row version, um, but uh, there are a couple of changes here. The first thing I want to highlight, uh, the front end is dominated by their new IQ Light headlights, which are similar to the ID4. These are adaptive swiveling full LED headlights with an LED daytime running light, LED turn signal. There's also an LED light bar that connects the two headlights together, and you have a massive Volkswagen logo that is also illuminated. The US version is the only version that's going to get the illuminated logo. Uh, and overall, uh, I definitely love the way this thing still looks. It has a very unique design with the two-tone paint. This is called Cabana blue with the white uh, upper portion. You can also get it in a monotone color. Volkswagen says they'll offer eight different colors total for the uh, bus in the U.S. market. Now looking at the side profile, uh, this definitely uh, isn't recognizable as the three row unless you really look at certain elements of the vehicle and the new bus is still manageable in terms of the size. This vehicle at around 195.6 inches long, this is about the same length as something like the Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport. It's about 10 inches longer than the two row model. Its wheelbase is now 100 and 27.6 uh, inches long. It's extra length, 10 inches is basically in the wheelbase. The front and rear overhangs are still extremely short. Uh, and then this vehicle uh, also is very tall and very wide. In fact, at around uh, 75 inches high, or just under 75, this is about five inches taller than a Volkswagen Atlas three row, but at around 78 inches wide, it's still about the same width as the Atlas three row, which is the company's largest SUV. Now looking at the wheels, you can see 21 inch wheels on this particular model, 20 inch wheels are gonna be standard. They have an aerodynamic shape to the wheels uh, and they're riding on a 235 by 45 R21 inch tire. Volkswagen didn't say well, uh, how much extra these wheels would be, but I actually love the look. They're very aerodynamic in the design. They have an aero cover and it's also attributes to a 0.29 coefficient of drag, which is just crazy considering that this is the shape of a brick, uh, how Volkswagen is able to get the coefficient of drag so good. Now, uh, talking about the rest of the profile, you've got the same kind of style for the five windows, although it's a little bit more streamlined, as you can see with the newer version. You have this unique porthole window here for the three row that actually slides open on both sides. Um, that allows you to get some air into the cabin. You can let your pet 
kind of stick their head out the window while you're driving or just get some fresh air into the cabin. It's power actuated. It's a really nice uh, design touch. Uh, and then moving over to the back portion here, you can see there's the charge port door. I can't open it for you right now, but this vehicle will accept a maximum of 200 kilowatts on a DC fast charger. That'll allow you to go from five to 80% in about 30 minutes. Now that's my estimate based on the DC fast charging speed and the battery capacity, but that's still pretty good. Now these little uh, areas here, this kind of reminds you uh, or pays an homage to the original T2 bus. Uh, it's designed to look like a rear air vent, but obviously it's not functional because there's no engine back here, but it has kind of this unique diamond texture, just like from the grill in these little side vents, Volkswagen calls it that. Now moving around the rear, you can see the taillight design uh, has that same kind of intricate light blade that connects the two taillights with the large Volkswagen logo that's white. The ID Buzz logo is also white. When I open up the power lift gate, which the power lift gate is actually standard, which is definitely a nice touch. You can see the three row model uh, has a good amount of space. I don't have the final figures yet, but as you can see, these seats do fold down in a 50-50 configuration. You can also remove these seats if you'd uh, like to remove the seats. Um, there's also uh, gonna give you a flat floor, although as you can see, the floor is going to be raised up when uh, the seats are folded. That's why there's this little shelf here. There's some storage underneath the shelf, which is nice. Uh, when you take out the seats, uh, Volkswagen doesn't have the final figures just yet, but uh, we'll be sure to give that, that to you uh, at a later date. Now, moving on to the interior of the 2025 ID Buzz. Remember, this is the American spec car. And although it may look similar to the European spec car as I get in, and shut the door, you're gonna notice quite a few things. First of all, this interior color is called the coastal theme. It's kind of like a light gray interior with the light wood. It also have a clay accent for the piping. This model is a very early pre-production model. It's got gray piping, but it should be clay. And it'll be kind of the same color that you see along the door panel although it should be a little bit lighter. This is a little bit darker than what uh, Volkswagen says the actual production model will be. You can see the coastal theme also includes the newer Volkswagen white steering wheel. So I imagine for those of you who want a darker color, there's also the urban, which is a very, very dark brown. And there's also like a contemporary theme, which is like a medium brown versus again, this light gray. Um, it also has the new touch controls here that you find in the new ID4. You have a 5.3 inch screen over here that shows you all your usual information. And then the re one of the other reasons why we waited so long for the uh, three row version is because we have the new infotainment system with their new software. So this is a 12.9 inch screen here with the same software that we saw on the Volkswagen ID7. I showed you guys that vehicle uh, in April in New York when that was first revealed. You can see it's got the new touch sensitive sliders which are now illuminated and you also have the climate functions that are always set at the bottom portion of the screen. This has wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, this is again a very early pre-production model but I have to say for being a prototype, uh, the screen resolution looks amazing. It's quick, it's snappy, and it's, it's responsive. It's gonna have a full 360 camera as standard. And then these seats also are leatherette, so it's a faux leather, 12-way, dual 12-way power seats with memory function, and you also have heated, ventilated, and massaging seats. That's standard across the board, even on the base version of the ID Buzz. Um, it, for in terms of the audio system, you'll have a nine-speaker Volkswagen system standard. This model here has a 14-speaker premium audio system. That's gonna be, gonna be one of the few options. The panel Panoramic roof above me is also going to be one of the options. This is also electrochromatic, which right now the glass is frosted. It's also the largest glass roof in the Volkswagen Group portfolio. Another, no other vehicle has a roof that's this long. Volkswagen said it's almost 68 inches long. So again, it really lets in a lot of light into this cabin. And then you also have this seating position where you sit up nice and high. You have this very expansive long dash, which you can see the dash material has this silver painted plastic, hard touch plastic, and then more hard touch plastic around the door panel. So in terms of the, you know, soft materials, it's not really going to be, it's more utilitarian versus luxury, but it certainly looks great. Also the ambient lighting you can see around the vehicle, there are 30 different colors and you can see it's very intricately laid out along with some nice storage over here you have up to eight USB-C charging ports in the vehicle there's two up here and then over here you can see fold that down there's uh, two cup holders along with a little bit more storage there is some nice little easter eggs here where this also functions as a bottle opener and then this also functions as an ice scraper which allows you to basically uh, adjust the center console this center console by the way is also removable so you can completely take it out if you want to have a complete you know easy pass through into the second row of the vehicle um, but overall uh, you can see there's a ton of headroom there's a ton of great tech in this car and I also really like the coastal theme for this vehicle. I don't have, you know, much in terms of how much legroom the car has in terms of all the rows, but as you can see with it being such a boxy shape with that tall roof, I think a lot of people, even tall folks, are gonna be able to get in into this vehicle and feel very comfortable.
Now hopping into the second and third row, remember this is a van and three rows of seating is gonna be standard on all US versions of the Buzz. You can also take your pick between either this bench seat, which will seat up to seven, or you can also get captain's chairs, which will reduce the seating capacity to uh, six people. Now. Dual power sliding doors are going to be standard. And you can see in terms of the legroom space, I mean, this is with the front seat probably further back than what I have it to drive. And just check out the space back here, guys. I don't have final legroom figures just yet, but this is just a ton of space. There's also easily space to have three people across because of how wide uh, this vehicle is. I'm surprised the third row doesn't accommodate uh, three people across as well. And then this seat also gives you the ability to kind of slide it forward and back up to eight inches. So you can actually slide it forward four inches, and it just gives you that flexibility. Now, uh, the other couple things I'm noticing, there's some LED lighting back here, nice padded area where you would rest your elbow as well. <coughs> there are heated seats back here, as you can see. And then if you push this button here, you can see that should open up the uh, this sliding window, which the power is off right now, but this window will slide this way to give you a nice little you know, air to uh, cool off the cabin or allow, like a little space for your dog to stick their head out the window. You can see you have separate rear climate controls, map lighting, you have rear seat air vents. And then I also wanna point out these tray tables are not coming to the US spec car. So they are here, but this is a European spec model. Volkswagen said that they didn't, there's something about crash testing where this wasn't allowed. So that's kind of sad. I would have liked to see the tables back here, but hopping into the third row, let me go ahead and show you guys how to do that. Once you open up that door, you can see there's a little lever here. You just pull that, the seat slides forward, and you can see here, it gives you a fairly good amount of space to get back here. So let's go ahead and put this back. And I show you guys the space. Now, the headrest, once you put those up, you can see, Actually, there's a lot of space back here. So I don't have final legroom figures yet, but as you can see for somebody who's five foot seven, I can get back here, I can cross my legs. I have a ton of headroom space. Uh, and then there's also rear seat ends back, uh, vents back here. There's two more USB charging ports. There's still a padded area here where you'd be resting your elbows. And then you also still have a great view. Now I'm surprised to see that the sunroof doesn't come all the way back into the third row, but I can't complain too much because that is literally the biggest glass roof that I've ever seen from a Volkswagen product. But overall, again, there was a reason why we waited so long for the three row model. And this is gonna give American shoppers in particular the space and the efficiency and the practicality that you kind of demand when you buy a vehicle that essentially just looks like a box on wheels. So just like the ID4, this vehicle also has just two window switches. You have to toggle between a rear button here to access the rear window when it's lit up yellow, you can see once you do that, that allows you to open up that sliding window, which that is probably the most distinctive styling difference along the side profile. If you couldn't tell, this is actually the longer vehicle. And you can see it gives you a nice opening back here to allow some for, for some fresh air. And it's just kind of like an homage to the original model. But now that we're kind of coming to the end of this video, I also want to show you one last thing. Uh, that, as you can see, is the third row. It'll, you can basically take each of the seats out. There's two portions to the seat. And once you do that, you can see it kind of does create a complete, almost a completely flat floor, although the second row is not removable, you can fold that down. You can see there's kind of a considerable difference here if you guys don't take out the seats, but that's the reason why they had that shelf there that allows you to still create a load, uh, flat load floor. Again, I don't have the final figures just yet in terms of the cargo space. But let's go ahead and talk about uh, the final, my final thoughts on this vehicle. First of all, we definitely had to wait a while for this car. And unfortunately, you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer if you wanna actually take delivery of one at your local Volkswagen dealer, because VW says it should be going on sale sometime next year. Now, they didn't exactly say when next year, although there were hints that I was getting from the rep, PR reps that it would probably be toward the middle of next year. And we also don't have the final pricing just yet of the ID Buzz. Now, of course, we can, we can do all kinds of speculation, for example. I mean, Electric vehicles like this, especially almost like a halo vehicle, I don't expect to be very cheap. But if you look at a vehicle like the ID4, that tops out at around $55,000 for a fully loaded version. I expect the Buzz to start at around 55 grand for the base model. These are all very well equipped, as you guys saw. It comes, comes with a lot of features. However, there are a couple of options available on the Buzz, and I suspect when you get it with all the available options, uh, it should be priced in the mid $60,000 range, which I know $60,000 is a lot of money, uh, but you have to kind of look at where the ID Buzz fits. This is gonna be at the top of the Volkswagen ID family. It's a unique specialty car, a weird quirky car. And I'm just really happy something like this exists because in a world that we live in where all these crossovers pretty much look alike, 
The Buzz is a unique car that's gonna turn a lot of heads, and I really think this is the car that's going to make vans cool again. That's really uh, the type of vehicle that Americans need for families. You want to drive a van, and this is definitely a unique retro modern van that is just kind of retro done right. But with all that said, hope you guys have enjoyed my full overview on the brand new 2025 Volkswagen ID Buzz. A three row if you're also looking to see the latest cars I'm testing. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at redline underscore reviews. Like us on Facebook. And as always guys, please keep subscribing to the Redline Reviews YouTube channel for all the latest reviews. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video.